Hi, this is Dr. Doug Smale with cdocs.com and today's tip of the day video is on choosing the right implant guide workflow. Now, when you have a patient in for an implant guide consult, it's important that your staff understand which guide workflow you're going to use so they can make the best use of your time and your patient's time. So in doing so, they're gonna to need to understand, is this gonna be an OptiGuide workflow, a classic guide workflow, or a CEREC two or three guide workflow. And to do that, they're gonna to need to answer three basic questions. The first question is, is there a large edentulous space present? Because if there is, right away, you know you're gonna need a barium Essex or barium denture with a classic guide. Number two, are the remaining teeth restored to porcelain fused to metal crowns? In this case, all three crowns that you see are porcelain fused to metal and there's an implant, so you know you're gonna get a lot of metal scatter on the cone beam and not be able to get a good SSI merge. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need the SICAP plate, the Futar scan material, and you're gonna be making a classic guide. Now, question number three, are there four or more teeth present? In this case, we're doing an immediate implant on tooth number 11, Great, we have plenty of teeth because you need four teeth for guide stability. You also need four teeth to be able to merge that SSI file into the cone beam. And I hope this really helps you understand which surgical guide workflow to use for your patients. Thanks, and we'll see you on cdocs.com.